Hello guys, welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the settings and Windows updates not working or not opening in Windows 10. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few solutions, but don't forget to check out the article down below for more solutions if this video won't help. The first thing that I'm going to show you is you should use the SFC scanner to scan your windows for problems. For that, we're going to have to click on the search button and then type in here CMD. Once command prompt appears, you have to right click on it and run as administrator. In here, you're going to see the command prompt. In command prompt, you're going to have to type in SFC space slash scan now. And that's the command. Then you press enter and the scan will start. And hopefully Windows will uh, solve the problem. Another solution that users have reported that it works is uh, to create a new user account. To create a new user account, you're going to have to click on the start button and then click on settings. And once settings appears, you have to go to accounts and uh, then you have to go to family and other people and then click on add someone else to this PC and you're gonna have to enter the details of a new username and password and stuff like that for a new user account and hopefully the settings will work like that but don't forget to uh, give the administrative privileges to the new user because if the settings works now you're gonna use that user account so I'm gonna show you what worked in my case so uh, I had this problem too a few months ago and I solved it by updating the Windows 10 drivers and I'm gonna show you here an app that you can use to update your drivers the app is called driver updater and you can download it using the link down below in the description so uh, don't forget to check that out once you click on that link you're gonna have to click on download and download the software and the software will automatically look for new drivers and um, will hopefully fix your settings and, and updates problem. So guys, this was the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you found it helpful. I was Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com. Don't forget to check out the article down below for more solutions. Until next time, have a nice day.